tonight, another eliminated chef enters the kitchen. Cook, 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 cook. Brittany's self-doubt sent her packing. I never really found my footing in the competition. Now, she has to compete against her one-time partner. Go, baby, go. And will Sasha score a second win and continue her journey back into the competition? God damn it, I don't know about this. <laughs> this is Last Chance Kitchen, presented by BMW. This competition has been a roller coaster ride for me, being in the top at first, and then being in the bottom, and then being in the bottom, and being in the bottom. Brittany, please pack your knives and go. I never really found my footing, but this is the last chance I had to prove that I make food that tastes good. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Hi. Hi. Let's see you. I love you too. Oh my god. Okay. Don't be sad. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy I'm here. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you. Not <laughs> happy I'm here. <laughs> I feel terrible that she's here because I know that means she got eliminated, but I am super stoked to see her. Brittany, welcome to Last Chance Kitchen. I'm glad to be here. Sasha here, she's kind of found her groove. I love it. Feels good. <laughs> so this week's elimination challenge, the chefs were asked to create a dish inspired by Pan-African cuisine. Brittany, I know this cuisine was new to you. Was it intimidating? I didn't really know the cuisine. It almost seems like you're not letting yourself cook. That's 100% true. I think that I cook a lot from my head, and I don't cook a lot from a place of my heart. You got to get out of your head. I know. I didn't really get to showcase what I do best, and that's on me. I was thinking about how can I make the judges like it, as opposed to do I like it? And I think that's the conundrum of this competition. Since they were such great tour guides uh, in the challenge, I asked Gregory and Kwame to help us today. Oh! Hello, hello. What's up? Hi. How are you doing? Hey guys, welcome to Last Chance Kitchen. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, right. sure. So, Brittany, the judges this week really struggle with your dish. It lacks a sense of self. Luckily, we have two stellar chefs right here that have a, a great sense of self. And while this week challenged on ingredients and flavors of Pan-African cuisine, this challenge will focus on a different element. So for your challenge today, we want to see how you interpret this concept, a one-pot meal. The only cooking surface you are able to use is that one pot on your station. I like it. In many African cuisines, one-pot cooking is incredibly common, like gumbo, okra stew, or even rice dishes like jambalaya. Normally, they'll take hours to develop. This time, you only have 30 minutes. Today, really think about who you are, think about what you love to cook, and make us some delicious food. With limited time and limited cooking surface, you have to be really smart about how you use your pot. You only have 30 minutes, and your time starts now. Oh, gorgeous. Roscoe, what would you make? Italian vibes always work. You got pancetta? Yep. Get it, boo-boo. Because I only have one cooking surface, I really have to think about the steps. I need to sear my chicken thighs, cook down my vegetables, fry my aromatics. There's a structure to this that I must follow. I know that I can bring a lot more elements to that dish to bring a lot of layers of flavor. What you thinking, Brittany? I'm gonna make just a really simple chowder. Yeah. I think I've been trying to do too much. <laughs> After being eliminated, you start to question what decisions you've made. And, and in a way, you kind of just want to get back to doing what you do best. So I know I want to make something that reminds me of home. So I decide to use crab and cod. And then I'm going to use the corn and the corn cob with some white wine and some stock to give me a nice, like, round base to my soup. Oh, yeah, this one. Go in here. 20 minutes. Cook, 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 cook. I think my only concern is making sure that the chicken is properly cooked. Go, baby, go. Cook, baby, cook. I know I have to cook it rather quickly, but I also want to make sure that skin is nice and rendered. You kind of have to find this happy medium that makes sure that the chicken still stays really nice and juicy, but it's cooked all the way through. This smells good. Yeah? Oh, yeah. man, this is going to be a tough one. Yeah. Hey, Tasha. Hi. Yeah, there. 
Uh, I'm doing a little cacciatore base, so doing okay. peppers, onions, a little pancettas in there, kind of the woods, and I've used mushroom powder on my little thighs. All right. Uh, Brittany, what's up? How are you doing? What are you making? I'm making a little seafood chowder. Yeah? Yeah. That's, that's smart. Why does this represent you? I grew up in the Mid-Atlantic eating seafood all the time. Okay. I love to fish. This is something I'd make at home for my husband. Okay. Looks good, though. Feeling the comeback is coming on. <laughs> I never gotta, feel great. You got to believe in yourself. I, mean, I know. I you got to believe in it. yourself. It's been really challenging. Yeah. But, um, you got to channel that nervous energy. Just, uh, just put it into the food. Yeah. I overthink everything too much. So having Kwame and Gregory in the kitchen, I'm taking that positive energy and really, like, it's it's warming my soul. 12 minutes. I choose cod for this dish specifically because of the time constraints. I think the smokiness of the bacon and the richness of the cream goes well with the crab and cod. We only have 30 minutes. It's hard to cook a cohesive dish in one pot. These situations are nuts. Five minutes left, chefs. Five minutes. Plenty of time, right? You have to, you know, all kinds of stuff that you can do. <laughs> okay. Really? <laughs> God damn it, I don't know about this. <laughs> After tasting the sauce, I realize it's quite spicy. Oh, why not some of these bad boys? I decided to add some golden raisins to balance out that spice a little bit. What are you putting in there? Raisins! <laughs> Golden raisins are something that's typical of Sicily, so you know, why not add in a little something extra that's delicious and sweet? Two minutes, 30 seconds, chefs. I'm breathing heavy on this one. I can't believe about it on. Potatoes are cooked? That one was. That one was. <laughs> How long do you usually take to cook a chicken cut story? 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. 30 seconds. Brittany's dish and my dish compared to each other is so hard. I went for bright, bold, a little spicy, but she did some elegant steps to that dish. This could be a really, really tight match. Brittany, you're looking like you're pretty confident over there right yeah. now. Are you talking about me? With a... <laughs> like a salt bay over there. <laughs> there you go. I feel happy with my dish. This little bowl of corn and crab chowder could get me back in the competition. This is who I am. This is exactly what I do. It's a damn shame that it took me this long to figure it out. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hands up. OK. Great. Good job, oh. chefs. Yeah, girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love you so much. Chef, bring your food up. Pretty plate. Right back at you, doggy. So, Brittany, what did you make for us? I made a uh, corn chowder with cod and some crab with some Old Bay and some summertime herbs. I make this at home because my husband loves it. Brittany, I think your stew is good. It has some depth of flavor. The fish is cooked nicely. The corn is nice and sweet. I love stews like this and soups like this. I mean, this is a screaming Chesapeake Bay with the Old Bay. And I like that it's a nice big chunk of cod. Often when you eat chowders, you want a big chunk of, of fish in there. So I thought that was really nicely done. Sasha, what did you make? So I did a chicken thigh cacciatore. I put red bell peppers, Calabrian chilies, kind of the woods mushrooms, a little mushroom powder on the chicken to give it a little extra. Raisins? Raisins. And raisins! It felt a little spicy to me, so I felt like bouncing it out with a little bit of sweetness. Well, you said you were Sicilian, and usually you find a lot of raisins in Sicilian cooking, so. It was, they were falling out of me, so I had to put them somewhere. <laughs> Gregory, what do you think of the chicken cacciatore? I think it's very good. You were smart about developing flavors. You use a lot of things that have a lot of mommy from the tomatoes and like getting the chicken cooked down nicely. I think the flavor's really, really great. A lot of individual things that you can pick out, but it still has that stew-like character because then you also get the flavor of everything together, which is pretty great. We're gonna huddle up real quick and we'll get back to you. Just like the one pot we cooked in, there's only going to be one winner for this challenge. And these are both really nice dishes. You know, Brittany, it's good to see yourself in the dish. Nice herbal notes. Sasha, this is on point, really flavorful. They're both really good.
Sasha, you got it. Good job, baby. Thank you. That was the best thing I think I've had all season. Yeah. <laughs> is this what you typically do? Yeah, this is my jam, this is my wheelhouse. Keep it up. Brittany, you can leave the kitchen, thank you. Thank you guys so much. It's definitely a mixed feeling of, I'm so excited and happy for Sasha. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Brittany. But I am also, in a way, sad that I am not gonna continue to go forward in this competition. It is very ironic that I make like a dish I make at home for my husband on Last Chance Kitchen, and then that's where, that's where it finally feels like it's clicking for me. Only one person wins Top Chef, but everyone else can find a win in it. And to me, I think that's where I found my win. This wouldn't be the first time that someone has a struggle in regular challenges, but Last Chance Kitchen, they excel in. Keep this up, to go far. Great. Thank you. See you next week. Thank you. All right, Thank take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I feel amped up. I'm ready to keep winning and keep cooking, which is like the best part of this. I feel like a brand new person. These two wins are giving me life. They are healing my soul. It's like really hitting home right now that I do have this opportunity to get back in the game.